investigation. Superstorm Sandy victims are upset with FEMA's review process. They claim they have been cheated out of money for repairs from the federal agency. So on your side, Zina Pineda is here with the details. Nina? And the family you're about to meet has a familiar story. Flooded out by Sandy, only got $14,000 from FEMA, even though it'll cost nearly a hundred more grand more actually to fix their house. Now they say they were victims of fraud in a flawed review process. I just don't understand why, why they would do that. Daryl Wade is dumbfounded over what he calls doctored reports. His cancer-stricken mom's Atlantic City house was underwater during Sandy, yet they only got a fraction of their claim. This is simple, clear fraud that matches any I've ever seen. The Wade's attorney says the proof's in these pictures that someone altered the FEMA adjuster's report. It's a sham. The entire review process is a sham. Here you can see FEMA's initial report shows damage to the Wade's house. And he writes right here, floodwaters damage water heater and boiler. But the same picture two weeks later, it's written no damage to the boiler. But he came out in between. They simply changed the description to floodwaters did not damage water heater and boiler. The floor also goes from damaged in the first report. Somebody literally just typed in a U and an N. So it went from damaged to undamaged. It's just blatant fraud. And there's no accountability. And that's why for the second time now I've called for the uh, director of FEMA to resign. Congressman Tom MacArthur is calling for hearings again, saying FEMA relied on the same fraudulent reports for the review process, resulting in thousands of homeowners being underpaid a second time. It's too broad for it to have just happened accidentally. Somebody directed it, and I want to know who. The Wades want the same answers, although they're running out of time. The same year Sandy Hitt and Barbara retired, she was diagnosed with lymphoma, now in stage four. Her hope is that the home she worked so hard to maintain will still shelter her family once she's gone. Even if my mom didn't have cancer, I feel as though they should still at least do what they said they were going to do. And FEMA told us it's working with the Wades on a daily basis to see that Barbara's paid every penny that she is due. And the agency said that since this evidence of underpayment came to mm -hmm. light, They've paid out an unprecedented amount of money, about $77 million, and reopened all those claims. The Wades and FEMA, though, now they head to a third-party mediator. This is impacting tens of thousands of people. Oh, so it's, many. It's shocking that this is still happening now. Exactly. Okay. Thanks, Nina. Mm -hmm.